again, everybody. This is Ron Rogers with Pro Printing Systems. Thank you very much for watching these videos and learning how to use your Canon Image ProGraph printer. But today's video, I want to show you how to print a banner. This is a question that I do get frequently when people first get their printer until they figure it out. So, um, and if it is not a function that you use frequently, this should be helpful. We're gonna open uh, the file straight from Windows Photo Viewer today, just for uh, this purpose. You can print this same way from Photoshop or uh, any, any other editing software that you're using, you can print from. I'm just doing it from Photo Viewer because that's how I have the image open. We can hit print. Um, notice across the top all the regular settings that people would normally look for uh, and you get your image preview there. We're going to ignore all of this. We're going to go right to options on the bottom right corner. Click printer properties and that opens the Canon printer driver. Again, the driver will look the same no matter what uh, pro editing software you're using. Once you hit print, you can open the printer driver and this is Canon proprietary software. So. For banner printing, you want page setup. Okay, and we're looking here, uh, this is our, we notice that we've got a 36 inch roll, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna skip all of this. Don't, don't have banner, uh, don't have borderless selected, nothing like that. It's looking at the page size being 3042. I think I had it set to that the last thing that I printed, so don't worry about that either. What we are looking at is the paper width down here we want to make sure that whatever our media size that's loaded in the printer is is selected here so for this i have a 36 inch roll of media sitting in my printer the next thing roll paper options here is your option for banner printing check the box it says some settings are disabled when uh, printing in banner hit ok and now notice that the preview down here turns into what looks like a banner. As long as your catch basket is on your printer, don't worry, it's not going to fall all over the floor, but uh, they didn't put the catch basket in the image here. Next up, you want to click Size Options, and this is where you will be able to uh, tell the printer what size you want your banner. If you do want borderless printing size, you would hit that. Now all of a sudden it matches the width of your media that you uh, specified in the previous step. If you're on a 24 inch roll, you would tell it a 24. If you're on a 17, you tell it 17 and so on. You can pick through here. I don't want borderless right now. Um, I can fix the ratio of width to height if I want, but I can now tell this it needs to print um, width of 3.94 to 36.10. So we're going to go 36 inches wide because that's what my media is. And on a standard Windows print driver, you can print up to 59 feet. If you take 708 divided by 12, you get 59. So let's say I wanted this to be a 500 inch uh, banner. So we've got 36 by 500. And let's call this custom paper says big banner. As soon as I hit OK, uh, oops, I need to save the setting. Add. There we go. So 36 by 500 is my big banner. I'm going to hit OK. And now notice it gives me big banner. 36 by 500 is what it says here. As soon as I hit OK, it's actually going to give me an error on this because the picture viewer cannot show me a 500 inch preview. That's all that that's doing. It, it just can't show it to me. So anyways, when you hit print, it's going to print that image for you in that size. And that is all there is to banner printing. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ron Rogers from Pro Printing Systems. If you want more helpful videos, tips, and tricks, check out our website, ProPrintingSystems.com. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. That helps us out immensely, and it'll also notify you whenever we have new videos come out. So that's all I've got for you. We'll see you in the next learning series.